evening and welcome to uh, Cosmic Blueprints here on <clears throat> Critical Mass Radio. No, oh, getting a bit, uh, getting a bit better used to that now. It's uh, pretty amazing stuff. Just waiting for Tony to show up on the board, and uh, uh, Johnny and Santo will be with us uh, shortly. They're currently uh, doing a, a QLP television production in Spanish, um, probably for the next uh, 45 minutes or so. Anyway, they'll be joining us uh, right after that. That's the whole purpose of um, doing this show tonight, was to get people in the mindset of uh, what we're doing to try to connect all the, the different dots that we have going on lately. And there are a few of them, and they're quite big. So uh, the tide has turned, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we have won. I'll just make it that simple. There's no point in getting in any long, drawn-out explanations. Just know that that's the truth. Because you know it, you can feel it. It's been like that for a while. Oh, there's Tony. So oh, just making Tony's mic hot here. Tony, have we got you? Absolutely. Hi, Kate. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are the listeners doing? Well, I guess they're doing okay. Um, by the way, guys, you can call in. This is a call-in show, and it's a bit of a hodgepodge for the first, uh, I guess, 45 minutes, uh, hour or so. I uh, would love to hear from you guys, just from overall... Uh, perspectives, maybe share some of your uh, current uh, victories and what have you. Um, I did hear from Lucas earlier, so Lucas, if you can call in, love to hear from you. Because uh, I know you're on Skype and I know you tune in, so anyway, feel free to call in, and uh, that applies to anyone. Uh, for anyone that uh, wants the landline to call in instead of using Skype, uh, the area code is 661 467 2401. That's area code 661 467-2401. Uh, so, Tony, maybe I, I was thinking there that it might be an idea to give people um, the concept of what we're uh, putting together and what is actually materializing very quickly before our eyes and at a pace that's very difficult to keep up with. Uh, maybe you can uh, share some of the concepts because we've been working close with uh, Johnny, of course, uh, for quite a while. Uh, Kyler Davenport is... Uh, um, <laughs> See, you can't even say newly in the fold because we're, what we're doing here is creating a, a, um, a symbiotic uh, relationship with uh, with so many things. And we do have a caller. So, uh, you know what, let's just... Uh, I'll, I'll open the uh, area code 77423. Area code 77423. I'm going to make your mic hot. Um, Tony, just wanted to maybe uh, get a little rambling from you, if you could. And yeah. uh, call us. Uh, feel free to jump in after. I just want to get let Tony get this thing out, but your, your mic is, uh, as you can tell, is now hot. So, welcome to the show. Mm. Um, well, hey, all right, thank you. This is Jeremiah um, hey, from uh, Boston super- area. <laughs> Hi, <Nora. clears throat> hello, hello. Uh, I, I was just uh, coming in just to listen to the show, but I mean, uh, I'm happy just uh, just to listen at this moment. So, if I have any questions or comments, I'll be happy to mention. Oh, okay, well, I'll leave the mic open. You, uh, I guess, can you mute, mute on your end or no? Oh, yeah, I can, absolutely. Okay, I'll leave your mic open that way, because the thing is, I, I won't know if you're trying to, you know, jump in or not, so uh, it would probably be a lot better. I'll just leave your mic open, and if you can mute on that end. Uh, by the way, just feel free, Jeremiah, to jump in. This is the whole point of why we do this. This is your voice, right? I'm just a mouthpiece on the other end of the microphone. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know. Beautiful. I'm happy to comment when I when I feel necessary. Awesome, guys. I'll mute and I'll uh, I'll probably be on later. Okay. Well, you know you know what to do. Unmute and just start talking. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. That's Enjoy the show. Perfect. Guaranteed. So, Tony. Yeah. Awesome. Um. Oh, right. Okay. Well, what we've been trying to do for quite a while is bring. You see, if you go out onto the internet and you start searching for um truth. And information and hidden stuff like we do or you know you start questioning stuff and trying to find the answers for yourself what you invariably end up with is millions and millions of loads of different sites that spring it up for everything you can possibly imagine from spiritual journeys and meditation classes to Zen Buddhism and all sorts of stuff and it's all over the place uh, you know there's millions and millions of different sites out there all trying to get through to people on all different levels on many different things so one of the things that we've noticed and I'm, I'm not saying we're the only ones doing this but probably not but the point is one of the things that I really feel is lacking with a lot of these 
these sites they've got loads of good information some loads of crap as well but you know it's a mix mash it's like like everything there's there's a bit of the truth and a bit of not and and that's how they get away with hiding it in plain sight but the point is what we've we've gone around testing pools and sticking our elbows in the water to test before we chuck the baby in it you know and um, cross-referencing all the stuff we find digging right the way down to see if it's actually see how much validity each particular subject slash um, uh, uh, piece of information how much piece of information is actually valid and how much it's not and to what extent and to what degree and it's very complicated it's very um, diverse and it just goes everywhere you can't you can't you literally can't hold on to it it's like you know um, it's like trying to hold on to an eel with bloody you know covered in margarine it's just not going to happen um, so anyway consequently the best thing that you can do is, is confine the eel to a, a small secluded area so you can keep taking a grab at it now and again and then add some more eels and then you know shut your eyes and then you just got to stick your hands in you're going to pull one or two out the point is if we can create a portal whereby as close as to the most accurate information that we have found and can still verify if we can put it all in through that portal um, the best sources that we've got then we stand a better chance of encouraging other people that have the correct information to come through to that portal and inevitably there will be some people that come through to the portable that portal that aren't quite either number one they don't understand the other aspects that are being referred to or number two that you know there might be one or two people that try and disinform but that's the beauty of it because when you've looked at so many different aspects of it you can easily spot that because you're used to spotting it because you, you know i say easily loosely but it, you know it does get easier the more information you study the easier it is to come across those that are spinning your yarn and those that are actually have got a damn good point and uh, whether you know that point stands up at this particular point in time it might change when somebody finds a magic document predating the magna carta or something i don't know i mean you can never you can never account for all outcomes but the point is what we're trying to do is create a, a space where people can come to understand what we found as to be the closest information to the truth that we've managed to unearth on our search and we've been searching it quite a while so it's a lot easier for us, I say, you know, us in general, um, to be able to drill through all the crap and get the crap out of the way so that we can get right, right down to the, the solid information that lies under it all. And so that's basically what we've tried to do. Um, we've done it on, an, on, a, on a mental, spiritual type of level. But what seems to have happened is the etherical has taken over. And the way why I'm actually saying this, it's it's already proven out, because we were on Freedom Reigns and we were bringing in tens of thousands of people that were listening to the information, which is good information, and um, we're literally tuning in the, the the people, you know, they were getting more and more and more people, and so uh, basically when the rug got pulled from under us under the Freedom Reigns banner, um, it's actually done us one hell of a favour. Because, as they say, when one door closes, another one opens. And that's exactly what's happened, because fate has took a turn whereby that Freedom Reigns rug got pulled, which we initially thought, oh no, what are we going to do now? And then we went, fuck it, we'll pick up the pieces and we'll actually go off and build something better and something new. And um, not only has it happened on a, on, a, on a small level, it's happened on a massive level. Because what actually we've ended up with, I mean, Kate can verify this, of course, but um, you guys are listening to us on Critical Mass Radio now. And so we've taken a leap from just having a couple of, you know, all right, maybe about four, three or four five shows a week, something like that, because we used to do other people's shows. Kate was doing the board for other people like Santos, etc. So you can't really quantify exactly how many shows. But the point is um, we had outside the box um, cosmic blueprints, etc., and we were doing several shows a week. But what we've ended up with now is our own platform. So we can do seven shows a week every night, you know, every every day of the week. But more than that, if we want to, we can do a, a 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock show and then a 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock and any time in between. So we've got an entire platform that's actually there and it's like wonderful. It's brand new. It's not been soiled. It's not been, you know, it's not been used before. And it's also 
uh, hours for at least a year. So um, we've got a, a whacking great platform with brilliant listeners like yourselves, uh, increasing audiences. I mean, just over the last couple of days, the audiences have shot up, absolutely shot up. Um, we've now got a cracking website, which is synchronicity.com, very synchronistic. Um, and, um, yeah, all these things have synchronistically appeared. And that was just the beginning. Because what's happened since then is, obviously, we've touched base with... We're going, going to give you some information about this tonight when Johnny and Santos get here later. But Johnny and Santos at the moment are on QLP TV. Or QLTV, or very close to that. Anyway, the point is they're on, on uh, the TV at the moment in Ecuador. And... Um, What's happening with Santos is incredible as well, especially with the Italian uh, audiences, because they're all, all of a sudden, we've got the Italian and the Rome connections, the Vatican, um, you know, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, basically, the Vatican is, is the, you know, the spiritual arm of Rome. And of course, we've been in, uncovering all of this, and the, the biblical aspects and the Jesus and all this sort of stuff. Of course, it's all linked, it's all linked into the Bibles and the Quran, etc., what Santos has uncovered is basically the astrotheological aspects um, to ecclesiastical law and sovereignty, which then brings into the legal system, but which is all really based on the movements and the stars and the planets, the Maseroth, as above, so below. Uh, this is a very deep subject, so I'm not going to go any deeper. The point is, Santos has uncovered the truth behind the Bible, the hidden stuff. Because when we say Bible in general, all the Christians go, oh, you know, Jesus, and there was an apple, and there was this bloke on a cross, and all this sort of stuff. No, it's completely wrong. That's all been allegorically uh, put forward as a fact, when it's not a fact, it's allegory. The real basis behind the Bible, as I said, is astrotheological. So, anyway, so Santos has a massive increase in his exposure, etc. He's of the same opinion and mind as us, as, as we are of, with him, um, we're finding out the truth behind all of these things, and we're exposing them, bringing, it, bringing them to the surface. And synchronistically, things have been happening that have been elevating that process. And Santos joining us, obviously, is one of them, but you know, you guys who know our um, past shows six months a year, like, understand that co the connection with Santos has been there for a while. I mean, my, my books have been on Santos's web pages well over a year. But the point is, we're all suddenly synchronistically all getting thrust into this massive arena with capabilities that are just popping out of nowhere. And uh, then enters Johnny, QLP TV. So now all of a sudden we've gone from Freedom Reigns, that's collapsed, gone to synchronicity, and synchronistically along has come this awesome radio platform that's just been given, donated, if you like. Thank you, Paul Giovanni of Critical Mass TV. Um, and in turn, in kind, um, we're actually helping now. I'm uh, just writing an article at the moment that I'm going to publish tomorrow, hopefully, on synchronicity. Um, synchronicity, uh, yeah. Um, synchronicity, uh, we've just got a call coming in here. Kate, do you want to take this? I've got QLP Television and Santos Bonacci coming in online. Okay. I'm going to take this, guys. Hang on. Okay, yeah, you go ahead. Okay, well, uh, wasn't expecting that, but okay, got a little bit of hold music going on there. Uh, so, Tony, you better Skype me, because um, when you took the call, you put you put me on hold. <laughs> the whole station on hold, nice one. Anyway, uh, uh, yes, 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 Santo, you and Johnny are coming on the show, yes. Yeah, uh, got, we got a few lines crossed today and yesterday. It's all good, though. It's uh, uh, we'll, we'll call it growing pains uh, of, of the highest order here. So I'm just going to check uh, Tony's mic again, and uh, we'll see if that's still going. Yeah, I guess that's still going. Anyway, uh, just to back up a bit more on what uh, Tony was saying, uh, in a nutshell, it's a one-stop truth shop, and that's kind of the whole idea of what we've been trying to come up with all along. Uh, synchronistically, what uh, Tony was talking about occurring happened between uh, <laughs> 5 after 7 on, or 22 seconds after 7 o'clock on Friday night and about 10 a.m. Saturday morning Eastern Standard Time when all these things started to come into play. Um, 
I had a chance to talk to uh, Kyler Davenport, who I've known of for uh, for quite a while, and uh, he's very vocal, um, very very strong being, standing in the truth. Uh, has has a, an incredible background, and I know uh, over the over the coming uh, days, weeks, and months, uh, that will get unfolded and unveiled for even more people. Uh, as to what some of us have had to go through and some of the lives we've lived to get us to where we are. Whoops, looks like we have uh, Santo here. And Tony, okay, we got you yep. back, Tony. And yep. Santo, I've, I've got you uh, live. Uh, by the way, Tony, when you put it on hold, uh, there's music that plays and I uh, had, to, had to mute you out. Ah, okay, that's a new one on me. Mm -hmm. Me too, never had that one happen before, so there you go. Thank you. New experience. Love it. Live and learn. <laughs> Live and learn. Santo, how are you? Very well, thanks, Kate. Hi, Tony. I wasn't expecting you guys awesome. so uh, uh, so so early. I, I kind of figured you'd be doing your uh, Spanish show tonight with Johnny, and then you would join us in the uh, uh, close to the second hour. So, oh, hey, okay. Hey, it's all great. You know, you, uh, by all means, you know, I don't want to interrupt uh, QLP because uh, this is one of the things. And we were just talking about this <laughs> synchronistically. Um, w one of the joys, uh, and I wanted. I haven't even brought it up yet. So here you are. You get to hear it. I was. Uh, had the absolute pleasure of joining Santo yesterday, and uh, Terry, got to give Terry the shout out, uh, with a group of most beautiful Italian people where I got to sit in and listen to the music of Italian. It was awesome. I got to tell you, um, I, think, I think a lot of the time I was just kind of bedazzled, and, you know, and I, I was picking up a little bit of what you were saying, Santo, so it's kind of cool. Uh, I think the more I do it, uh, uh, it it'll start ca catching on a bit better, because I did hang out with a lot of Italian people growing up, so... Uh, and mind you, the Italian I know is not really, uh, you know, radio friendly. So, <laughs> yeah, naughty words. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, I was um, waiting for you guys, guys to go there, but uh, anyway, I, I do, I do want to open the uh, invitation uh, to uh, the Italian connection that I know, I know uh, some of them are listening right now. Uh, I would love. Um, if they if they could call in via Skype, um, uh, you guys had the link. I put it in in uh, one of the chat rooms there. So I would love to have one of you guys call in and uh, share your insights as well. So, uh, but anyway, I guess we're just waiting for Johnny. Are you are you going to be doing the show with Johnny? Yeah, we're we're both coming on together, and okay. Johnny wants to advertise um, his new stuff that he's doing, both in Latin and English. I mean, in Spanish and um, English. And um, by the way, Kate, I think um, the Italians really enjoyed having you anyway. They really loved it. And so whenever you want to um, pop in and say hello, they would love it. Because most of them speak really good Ital uh, English anyway. They're very advanced in their English. The only thing wrong, though, is y we always forget to slow down in our speaking when we speak to foreigners, right? And I know that they could have got, they can get a lot more out of your English or anyone's English when you slow down. Um, this is why I deliberately sometimes really, really slow down in my presentations and when I'm speaking, I don't really go fast um, because even in English this thing, this thing happens, but especially so when you're speaking to foreigners. Now, I've, I'm accustomed to this, so I know I know how many times I've spoken too fast and they just can't understand sheer for the sheer speed. But um, were you to speak, uh, you would have got 80% um, you know, comprehension. They're very, very good, but they enjoyed what you had to say because they're really into um, getting out of the system, unplugging. These guys are really, really unplugging. You know, They know it's corrupt, it's just putrid, it's, it's never... Um, in currently, the, the current controllers of it who were, <laughs> and we know that, um, under that system, it you know, you've got to plug out of that one. But who knows? Hopefully, under people's trust, we might be able to um, be able to use it for its positive means, as many people are indicating. You know, many people are, are saying, hey, it's, it works. You know, it's, it's not bad. The only two reasons why the current system is evil is because we don't know how it works. We don't know that when we go to court, they are actually, um, you know, just 
extracting money from your estate by their little words on dead paper. Um, that's number one. If, if we're educated about that, that'll go away. And um, secondly, the whole system runs on debt. It does not run on credit. So, so once you change those two little things, there might be other things to tweak, but just those two things alone will be 98% of solving all of our problems. Imagine... Imagine if you've got a matter, you go to court and you know that they are actually just going after your name. So you can go there and just settle the accounts, right? And this is beautiful. This is, this is a universal republic that we're going back to. We, we have to. Not, not, a, not anyone else, anyone's specific republic. It's just a universal republic where law pre prevails. Oh, absolutely. And point taken on, um, that's the problem with being Irish. I generally talk fast anyway, but, um, yeah, absolutely. And that was, that was part of my hesitation yesterday in, in trying to get the, the simplest concepts, um, uh, knowing full well that I'm, I'm speaking with people that, um, although they understand English, it, I, again, it's like, you know, we have sayings in English as, as they have sayings in Italian that are conceptual and don't translate. So that's um, why I was tr yeah, trying to do idioms. that. Yeah, idioms, that's the best word for it. Absolutely. Yeah, and in Spanish they call language idioma because it's, it is an idiom. We're all speaking idioms. In fact, the language we are speaking now is just simply just a register of English. You're never actually speaking, oh, well, uh, you can speak every register, but... <laughs> For instance, legalese is just a register of English. It's just their register of words that they use in their society and they don't tell you that it's just a it's just legalese. It's just a register. But you know, when I'm talking um when you go to Italy and places like that where there are thousands of dialects spoken, every village if if I if I'm living in a village in Italy, where I grew up, um, my parents came from uh, Soveria Manelli in uh, Calabria, southern Italy. Now, y you go down the valley, uh, you know, just sort of six or seven k's to the next village, and they've got another sort of uh, accent on their, from village to village, right? So, what these are called are personal idioms, uh, uh, sorry, personal registers. See, these are family registers. So you've got the, the speak that you speak at home, then the speak when you go out you know, and have coffee with your friends, then you've got another speak when you go to court, and there's all these registers. So <clears throat> the, one that, the one, of course, that is uh, most capable in linguistics is the one that can speak in as many registers as possible. Oh, exactly. And uh, we do have Johnny. He's just joined us on the board as well. And uh, I'm not sure what it is about people tagging me during showtime. It's like uh, I've only been doing this for years, you know. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's, it's funny. Um, but, yes, absolutely. And uh, I'm really hoping uh, I, I did introduce, let me go to the room, uh, Sandro de la Familia Sabine. Uh, so Sandro from the call yesterday, I added him to uh, Tammy uh, Pepperman's room. And I think um, what we need to do, because I know Tammy's got some devastating paperwork, uh, and I mean devastating because she writes it from the same concepts I do. Um, uh, wow, you know, um, just, just I got to tell you, it's it, it's magical when when you start seeing so many things that you never thought you'd see in your lifetime. Uh, like wow, you know. Anyway, uh, so. What I, I do want to uh, encourage is the Italian connection, uh, especially uh, for uh, those that want to translate documents as well, because I know Tammy's stuff, uh, I, I, I'll use the word devastating. Um, I know, you know, you've got Peter, he's got some devastating stuff. I have, you have, Santo. Everyone's got some pretty cool things to bring to the table. And I think um, that would be a, just an amazing asset for them to uh, be a part of that room. So, uh, all I all I want uh, to do then is um, I guess I'll, I'll make a note or if, if uh, you can uh, put it in Italian so that everybody can get that uh, to get into that room as well and uh, I'll swing you over to it as well, Santo. Yeah, uh, any time you want to just uh, drop messages in that chat, there's very very competent people that uh, know English well. For instance, Sandro, okay. that one, 
um, and uh, Giorgio, uh, no, go for Eugenio and Francesca. Those three are pretty competent as far as I know, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. And, Johnny, feel free to jump in any time, my friend. Uh, we're wide open tonight, so jump in and introduce yourself. I do believe this is the first time you've been on with us. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you can hear me okay? Everything's okay? Oh, you're rocking, my friend. Oh, okay. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me, Kate, uh, Tony, and Santos. It's a pleasure to be uh, speaking with you guys, three great minds, as I always say. And, um, well, i just give you a, a quick uh, brief uh, synopsis of what uh, we're doing here at um, QL Television, which is Quantum Leap Television. Um, we started this project uh, roughly about uh, nine, ten months ago uh, when I f- discovered Santos Bonacci and I asked him to, to join me. You know, I, I saw one of his videos and I was fascinated and um, I was starting this new channel, Quantum Leap Television. And um, and, and I wanted to do the the programming in English and in Spanish, um, mainly in Spanish because our, 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 I think that our Spanish speaking people, folks, uh, sort of uh, kind of gotten just the the translation end of the English version information. Uh, basically, we don't have that much information. Uh, in the Spanish community as in the English world. So I asked Santos and he uh, kindly joined me and uh, we've been doing this for almost in February will be a a year now that we've been on the air. And uh, it turned out that uh, the Spanish community has taken a a very strong like to Santos. I mean, it's very hard not to like Santos anyway, but, you know, (laughs) he's he's been uh, taken in uh, very much by our Spanish-speaking friends. And uh, to the point that everyone's been asking me, when are you going to have Santos? When are you going to? And I explained to them, well, Santos is doing about a thousand radio shows. And and now uh, you guys are, Santos is with the Italian community as well. Um, but uh, the reason I'm saying this is because you know, the interests of all these topics about astrotheology and um, all, all the stuff that uh, Santos uh, talks about in UK with with the fictions and uh, and, and the, the legal person and all these uh, this craziness in the court system, um, this this is extremely new to the Spanish world. Um, so much that when they heard me uh, briefly talk about this in one of the Spanish show, uh, my good friend Miguel Celades from Spain, who runs a um, an organization over there, it's called Ciencia y Espíritu, uh, Science and Spirit. Uh, he he asked me to do uh, uh, an interview and, and to speak about uh, you know the the, the the this fiction and and how they've manipulated the whole. The whole uh, the whole deal with the capital letters and your birth certificate and so forth and maritime admiralty law, and they were very fascinated because they never heard this. You know, they never knew. They, they was like, you know, this is like totally strange to us. I mean, we've heard about the Illuminati's, we've heard about the New World Order, the Vatican, and all that stuff, but we've never heard about this time. It was very fascinating. Um, so they asked me to to can we do a documentary about this because people were interesting interested. I had a, a lot of people calling me and and asking me how they can you know how can they go about to stopping their foreclosures and uh, and you know basically I had to tell them I listen I'm not the expert in this in this area but I I certainly have friends in the English world that uh, there are pretty much uh, experts in, in these in this topic. Uh, mainly because, you know, as you all know, all the fiasco that went on, or they're still going on in Spain with, with the people getting thrown out on the streets and uh, and, uh, and losing their, 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 their shirts and, you know, the, the, the whole terrible scenario where they're, where they, you know, they're, they have to, they can't pay their loans anymore. They, get, they take their houses. And in addition to that, they still have to pay the loan. So in other words, you know, you took a three hundred thousand dollar loan, you know, you paid it for four years. Uh, you, now they came, you couldn't pay anymore. They took your house, and now you still have the debt. You know, whatever two hundred thousand dollars left to pay. And some of the Spanish peop- uh, people, the people that were from uh, South America, from Ecuador, from uh, Peru, from Colombia, that said, you know, why we can't do this? This is insane. How are we going to pay this? <laughs> you know, we don't have no job. We don't have food to eat and we don't have a home now because you're throwing us on the street now you're asking us to also pay back the loan 
This is insane. So they decided to leave the country, and then all of a sudden the Spanish government said, you know what, you can't leave until you pay the debt. So they wouldn't let them leave because they put, they put them on like the blacklist. And once they got to the airport, they were immediately stopped and they were denied exit uh, from Spain. So so this was extremely worrying for, for many people, you know, that that they couldn't, you know, what what can we do? So many people contacted me and asked me these things. And I said, well, you know what? I think what we can do is uh, create a documentary in Spanish where we give you all this information, how this whole fiasco started, what, how, how is it, how it evolved, and, and what we can do now to get out of the system. Okay, it's still a little crazy to them because, again, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it. You know, this, this never heard about this, but they were very interested. And you know, when you're desperate and you have no other options, then you tend to go with what sounds good. Um, so. Um, I spoke to, to, to the folks over there in this interview and I said to them that I would uh, promise that I would do a documentary in Spanish uh, to give as much information, uh, good information about this whole legal system and maritime admiralty law and common law and, and, and you know, capital letters and the bond and all that stuff. So there have been sort of on standby waiting uh, for us to produce this video. In addition to that, um, in, in our conversations with Santos, uh, Santos has uh, mentioned to me that he wanted to do a real professional documentary with, with you know, real good uh, graphics and, uh, and, uh, and a good design because it, it's very important this because, you know, I think it's like 90% of the population is visual, you know, <laughs> so they need to see things. They need to uh, appreciate. They learn through the eyes, right? There are not too many people who are kinesthetic or, or you know, um, they they learn better through the visual. So this is important. So I said to Santos, sure, you know, we can do this. I uh, I have this channel uh, that I produce out of uh, Ecuador in South America, and I also have a production company. So I have cameras, video, uh, lights, microphones, and all these things. So um, I, I offered to to go ahead and, and produce this film uh, in Spanish, but I also wanted to do one with Santos in English, right? Because uh, Santos has uh, confided in me, and I think in you guys as well, that he has a lot more information that he's sort of been uh, holding a little bit until you get the right opportunity to produce a film according uh, to how you, Santos, uh, sees it. So maybe, Santos, you can jump in and, you know, you can jump in there and, and share a little bit of, you know, what you've, you shared with me regarding this information that, uh, that, you, have, that you have. Yeah, Johnny, look, uh, as you know, and I've also appealed to um, people through my presentations, I'm looking for a good, good uh, body of people that can do something for humanity and make a presentation on the holy science, the science of as above, so below, the science of light, all the things that I do, so we can all, uh, you know, take advantage of that and be uh, be benefited by it. Um, so, I mean, I know the information. There's a lot of information in my presentations, but you know, when you do things with graphics, when you do things um, that are edited so well that a thought just runs into another thought seamlessly, and graphics and and um, animations. And, uh, animations etc flow you can really get people thinking I mean just a video on what I've done um, in my presentations if you slap the video together with graphics there you will absolutely expand the consciousness of humanity but <laughs> but this is the thing um, there's there's always more right there's always certain things that you got to keep that you don't share and that's just the way it goes, you know. You can't just throw all your pearls out there. Um, and some of those pearls can only pre be presented with proper graphics. I still can't do some things uh, just on my presentations. It has to be sh um, graphically depicted properly w with, you know, with images and stuff like that. So, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great, great work i'm going to start with i'm going to start with the cycles we shall see how the 24 hour day uh, 24 hour cycle works 
and how it interlocks with the yearly cycle and how it interlocks with processional cycle and how the human being also is in that cycle. Um, we start with those four cycles. We show how they work. Um, and then, I mean, we're going to have a tour of all the theology that's in there biochemically which is the, um, see the biochemics in the Bible, that's the, above, that's the below portion of the astronomical or astral. There's, there's two, there's as above and so below. So, so biochemically, you know, the, the mythologies in the Bibles are speaking about a great, great alchemical process that is going on, and it's hidden in the scriptures and people don't realize. A great medium is a, a uh, documentary with good graphics, and this is this is the most exciting thing for me, Johnny. Um, I live I live for the day when I can sit down. I've storyboarded the whole thing in my head. I've got everything that's got to go out on on it, um, and and just to work with professional people that know how to put that on graphics and then tell the best story ever told because it is it's it's right. it's in it's in the Iliad, it's in the Odyssey, it's the best story ever told. Yeah, so this is why the, this uh, movie, um, What the Bleep Do We Know, was so successful because of the animations and the graphics in that. You know, when, when they talk about the brain and how when we have a thought, what happens inside our brain, you know, it's, it's easy to, it's not that easy to hear uh, this, but when you see it visually, how, you know, the animation and the graphics of, you know, how, what's going on inside your brain, you know, it's like a, a it's an electrical storm and the impulses go into each cell and then the cells begin to, to to create a, a you know an amino acid and all these things. So when I saw this this film, what to believe do we know? I was like, wow, this is it's good. I mean, visually is good. Um, you know, certain things in there are not I'm not I'm not too <laughs> fond of. But you know, just talking about the visual part of the movie. I mean, it was it was an excellent uh, excellent uh, form of getting the message across. Even when they also talked about the uh, double slits experiment. You know, when they they physically show visually show how the 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 atom splits you know when the observer looks at at an object so i mean it's 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 it's, uh, it's definitely something that uh it needs to be put in into into your into your presentation santos um and i think that uh with, with the information that you shared with us i think it would definitely be uh uh, uh, an extra light to the world. So, so what I'm I'm, I'm offering uh, folks and, and and everyone that's listening to this conversation today is I, which is I said to Santos, I'll I'm gonna put my my equipment. I will produce this uh, on my own cost, um, the cameras and so forth. But we need to get Santos down here to Ecuador uh, and have him stay here for whatever the time is to to produce this film. Um, because it's just it's a lot cheaper for us to just bring Santos than for us to bring seven people to Australia and lodge them and feed them and you know it's just, it's, it's it's way too much money. So it's a lot easier to to bring uh, Santos here and uh, and produce this film here with the right people. Um, so what we're basically I'm here to 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 say to, to all the folks is to to help us out. Um, I've created a web page. Which is right now in Spanish, but I'm, I, it should be in English within the next week. It's uh, www.qltelevision.com, and there uh, you can check out um, all the videos that we've done. You can see some of the videos there in Spanish and in English with with Santos, or you can go also to the to our YouTube channel, uh, QL uh, Television. Uh, um, and uh, there you can see all the programming that Santos and I has been sharing with uh, with us in English and in Spanish, uh, by the way. And uh, so basically, this is what um, uh, we want to ask uh, the friends of uh, of Santos and Kate and Tony to to help us out. You know, we need to raise uh, funds to get Santos down here to Ecuador from Australia and have him stay here for as long as it takes to. To produce this, uh, this uh, film, Johnny, yes. Johnny, abs absolutely. I'm, I'm going to jump in here because sure. uh, I've worked with you on many occasions, um, and I, I know the level I know the level of work that you're doing, and uh, and the quality of work that comes out. I also know, uh, having talked with you and Santo uh, over the last year, um, 
what you guys can put together. And yeah, that is absolutely the simplest um, uh, solution to get Santo there. And that's, you know, for me, you see, after after being on on that call with Santo yesterday and the Italian contingent and to feel the energy and to see uh, the energy <laughs> uh, type when they were typing to me, and, uh, it is absolutely critical for the Spanish and Italian communities. I know because Spanish it doesn't necessarily translate right into into Italian, but you can get it. Absolutely. You know, and, and it's going to carry over um, in, in so many ways. And when you you look at the sheer numbers, uh, I mean, let's let's just think. Never mind uh, Spain. Look at Central America, South America, uh, yeah. Italy all the different places around the world that that carry the Spanish and Italian and Portuguese languages, um, it, you know, it's, it's important that people get what Santo has been sharing, and you as well, Johnny, and Tony, and all of us, in in uh, their native conceptual tongue, where I know Santo uh, can deliver that as well as you, Johnny. And, yeah, absolutely. Now, um, do you have something set up on QL Television as far yes. as uh, a budget or something that uh, for donating directly to this? Yes, yes. Well, okay. be before I go into this, uh, Kate, it's a very uh, interesting point that you just made because you know, we calculated this through, you know, marketing and, and, and research. There's it's just, just in North America, Central America, South America, and Spain, that's it, there's over 800,000 Spanish-speaking people. Okay, uh, there's about 40 million in the United States, and that's that's ca counting just the, what they would say the legal people, the registered people. There's at least another 40 million that are not legally registered. So, and that's not counting the rest of the world. You know, it's a huge potential that we have now. The, the, the documentary that we want to do with Santos is in English, but with the with the with the um, uh, with the funding and with with the, your donations, we'll be able to also translate that into Spanish. You see, right now there's everyone in in the Spanish community watches the shows with Santos. They say to me, "Oh, we saw that Santos is speaking in English, and he's got some some excellent videos. We can understand a little bit. Can you translate it?" <laughs> and I says, "I can. I'm sorry, I just can't. I mean, it's it's time consuming. Um, I don't have the money to hire someone to you know to to translate that." Because you know that's that's tedious, and you have to make sure that you translate correctly. Because if you know you miss a word here and there, you lose the whole thought. You know, what I'm saying so. That we it's not just because we're doing it in English, it doesn't mean that we won't translate it in Spanish or in Italian or whatever language it is. I mean, we have the funds; we can translate it into any language. You know, that, that's not the problem. Um, so, so basically, you know, I I could offer what. Whatever I can, you know, and um, you know, I've been doing this for a year now. At you know, my my out of my own pocket, and I have I haven't charged anything, or you know, I don't sell videos or do anything. I just pretty much get the information out. But to do a project like this, um, a film like this, we you know, we need uh, we need we need help, and I personally can finance. I could offer, as I said before, you know, I can offer my equipment and uh, and the time for sure. But I, I can't uh, afford to pay, you know, uh, extra stuff or to bring Santos um, to, to Ecuador. But but it's um, it's a it's um, it's a very interesting point that you you raise, uh, Kate, uh, because um, you know we have a, a huge group of Spanish-speaking people in the world, you know, that that could really make a difference. Oh, absolutely, and um, you know, I, I'll speak for Santo, Tony, myself, and you. Um, we've been all in this game out of, out of our own uh, pockets, reserves. Um, well, in the case of Tony and myself, um, we're basically at zero <laughs> as far as uh, resources, uh, basically used up to keep us going this far, and we're really at the whim of the universe. Uh, and I do have to do another shout-out for uh, people like, um, uh, and this is not to leave anyone out, um, I just uh, top of my head here, Colleen, uh, who called in, Saturday night with our first show and and was able to help us out um, and uh, Terry and and uh, Mary and so many so many others um, I, well I won't say so many others because it sounds like a lot it's not really but I got to tell you the people that have chipped in when they did chipped in at critical times when we were really really literally uh, on our hands and knees 
Um, mm-hmm. As you know, my situation, uh, I came at the system, and the system uh, put everything it could at me uh, to the point of kidnapping at gunpoint, stealing my house, stealing my uh, uh, car, truck. I haven't seen them since February 11th last year either. And, of course, uh, uh, the most important thing to me was they absolutely shredded my family. I've seen my kids once uh, since last February, and that was at my brother-in-law's funeral. And uh, uh, it's not a sob story, guys, but I'm, what I'm trying to trying to convey here this is the visual I'm trying to give you this is the commitment that some of us are in this and the only thing that I don't want to see happen is is what we're doing getting wasted that's yeah. all you know, yeah. it's paid for you know the feast is paid for uh, please you know come up to the table and you know feast on it because I know the countless hours that you've done that Santo has done that Tony has done and so many others that have literally dedicated our lives to this uh, with me it's minimum 12 14 hours a day i mean if my waking moment is on the computer to my sleeping moment when i go when i actually uh, go to my little space on the floor and i put my computer down beside me and i go to sleep with headphones on because i'm still trying to research because i get caught up with so much stuff all day uh like last night i was talking to santo santo i was already in bed <laughs> you know hmm. um, but i answered the phone um and that's the thing and that's the level of commitment that we're at and i know what santo uh, can do with with a, a video production of the skill and talent that I know you have have seen it, um, and to offer up. I hey, um, I'm a musician. And I know what it's like to have gear. Uh, never mind the audio visual gear, but I mean, literally at uh, the height of my music stuff, I probably had about 150 thousand in my music equipment. And right. I know on my music uh, throughout my life, I've I've probably been out of pocket. You know, over three hundred thousand, just to you know keep things going and keeping the gear up and and providing for other band members and and what have you. Um, so I know what that's all about as well. And of course, where's my music? It's online. How much is it? Free. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but right. uh, absolutely. Um, so I I will urge, and this is this is going to be an ongoing thing, guys, uh, because we need we need need to get Santo to Ecuador A S A F T. <laughs> you can figure the F out. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, that would be fantastic, guys. Uh, we could put together a great product, and we know how much the world needs it. There's no denying it. We really need some good truths. We really need some good direction, some great law. We've got... We've got I mean, at least we we keep in touch with the greatest remedies. I mean, we don't ever purport to have the best remedies, Kate. You've got your great documents there. We've seen uh, other people with their work. You've interviewed Tammy Pepperman. I'm going to be interviewing uh, Winston Trout soon. Winston Trout is the guy who is going to uh, bring on the uh, mass arrests in the United States very soon. I will be interviewing him on March the 19th. Hopefully, um, it will have happened before then, and we'll be talking about the mass arrests uh, post the mass arrests when I have Winston Shroud on. But you know what I mean. We we, we talk with these people. We now know about. Uh, we we spoke about uh, some trusts a couple of months ago. Remember Sun Sun's trust? We brought that to the attention of the world. We brought. Uh, where the People's Trust of 1776 now, the, this this trust that superior perfect claim. So we're in touch with the we bring the them all old, the people, everything, we bring them the astro theology, Pete Clifford, Mark Hollywood, Tammy Pepperman, Winston Shroud, Jordan. Ma- we bring them all to the table. That's the whole. That's the reason why we put together synchronicity so that everyone has that beautiful access to all of this. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be a great product, Johnny. I'm uh, I'm so glad that you're still motivated after about uh, 14 months. I remember January 2012, you were speaking to me about uh, let's make a, a nice presentation, documentary for you, and I said yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, so I'm glad you're still motivated, brother. I hope it comes to fruition, and let's put it out in the universe and see what happens. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm excited. I mean. Uh, well, yeah, I just, I just sure. one, one little thing, then carry on, Johnny. But I just, sure. uh, based on the numbers that we get in uh, listening on these shows, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the difference that that the listeners can make. If everyone that's listening right now went over to uh, QL, uh, what is it, QLtelevision.com? Yes, QLtelevision.com. If everyone listening right now that has the ability to give up half a coffee tomorrow, 
if everybody listening right now went over to QLTelevision.com and donated one dollar, it's done. It's done in spades. Well, let's yeah. let's see what happens, eh? It, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure what needs to be happened will take place. You know what needs well, to happen. We, ha- we had fourteen thousand one hundred tuned in last night, and again, this is a new a new shift for. Uh, uh, from Freedom Reigns, we're used to the 50 to, uh, well, we've, we're averaging about uh, about 60,000 a show uh, tuned in, and uh, at one point we peaked at 130,000. So what I'm referencing is what is what we had listening last night. If, if every, uh, 14,300 last night tuned in, if everybody put a dollar in, Santo is in Ecuador, he's well looked after, and there's going to be enough left over to do all the translations, to do everything else. That's right. It's done. It is done. It is done. So there you go. If you can spare a dollar. All right. Well, what, I, what, I've, what I've done, Kate, uh, uh, Santos, and Tony, is that in the, in the web page, and I got this idea from, uh, because I was asking uh, folks that have done this already, uh, as far as marketing and things like that, I asked um, uh, Jose Escamilla, who's done the movies, uh, Moon Rising, and uh, all, the, all the stuff on the moon, um, and he gave me some, some, some good tips. And he basically said, "Well, you know, you could offer some stuff to the to the folks that donate and help you out. Uh, for example, if they want to take the role as uh, an executive producer, um, an uh, assistant ex- executive producer, and each has a different amount that you can con- contribute. And of course, you we offer after the, the product is complete, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, five DVDs signed by the author, by in this case Santos Bonacci, uh, in the event that uh, we." have enough money we can maybe have a, a presentation a live presentation and we can invite those people as guests to come in and, and meet santos and uh and see the the, the the premiere with 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 him as well and uh, and also through other friends they've asked me uh i've asked them how we can market this film once it's done uh in different film festivals as well and and i and i have no doubt whatsoever that with the kind of information that Santos has and the kind of quality that we can produce uh, in, in this visual story that Santos um, will, will present, um, it, it'll definitely, it's an award-winning uh, uh, documentary if you look at it that way, but it's, it is also uh, going to be an award-winning awakening documentary for, for, for everyone. See, what Santos did, no, well, I might as well just say it now. Once we get him down here, we're going to, we're also going to do a Spanish uh, version of of this documentary, you know, because Santos is pretty fluent in Spanish. He's pretty good, you know, and and, and um, people appreciate and see the natural um, the natural tone that that Santos uh, uh, gives when he when he makes his presentations in Spanish in my shows, and even even if he misses. Miss uh, says a word in Spanish, or he, you know, he he usually pronounces Arias Ariete in his uh, Arias, <laughs> and uh, it's kind of it's kind of uh, it's a, it appeals because the the people understand and they can sense when you're being honest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people are not stupid. You know, they see who who really wants to help and who doesn't want to help, and it's just in it for you know their own personal gains. So. Um, so it, 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 we're, we're gonna we're gonna create a a good project, a good good um, a good film that will uh, you know elevate consciousness even more than you know what, what already Santos has done. So so what we've done, if you go into the page qltelevision.com, there you'll see a, a window that says donations, and there's different uh, amounts that you could donate with you know if you would like. To have that title as an executive producer, or you know, you know, for whatever amount that you want to donate, just like as, as Kate said uh, just a few minutes ago, if you want to donate a dollar or fifty cents, that's welcome. Anything mm. that, that that you can spare, it uh, it'll help us out. And if you don't, if you feel a little bit more comfortable and you don't want to donate directly to the page for X reason, you can contact Santos privately or, or Kate. Or Tony and say, look, we're gonna send you the money, and that's fine as well. You know, we just we just want to uh, have sufficient uh, donations to 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 get Santos down here and to produce this film the correct way. 
So yeah, you can you can go into the page and there you can see the different options, or you can contact Santos, Kate, or Tony privately and and um, donate to them directly if you like. It's all about making it possible to change the consciousness of the planet, guys. That's what it's about at the end of the day. It's about raising the consciousness of the planet, um, and you can be part of that as well. It's uh, as simple as you know, do it. That's the beauty of it. You know? Absolutely, and. Uh you know, heaven knows we're, uh, like I said, we're in this game and we'll do whatever it takes. And if, and, and if everything is getting directed to get Santa to do this, it's only going to benefit Tony, myself, and, and Johnny and everyone anyway. Uh, in the bigger picture, when you, when you see things from the ethereal, and that's where I live. And really, this is about creating the, the, the proper intention. This is this is not a physical action, guys. This is this is a mental universe. This is a mental intensive action. So, um, and I've said it before, uh, with regards to doing something, even if it's a penny, put the intention there because when the intention is there, things change. That's how this. That, that, that's how we've changed this game. And if anybody can tell me that everything feels the same now as it did six months ago, I'm going to say, well, let me know when you when, when you wake up. <laughs> Yeah. Right, you know, guys. Also, if you don't have, uh, you know, a couple of dollars to donate, that's fine as well. Maybe you can help us in another way. You know, maybe you can contact, con uh, give us a contact with someone that has the means, or, or maybe that they can help us distribute the film once we, you know, we have it uh, completed. You know, anything is welcome. You know, maybe not necessarily yeah. energy. Money. Energy in any form is welcome. That's the intention that I'm speaking of, and you know, it's. One of, that's one of the things that I've, I've stressed so, so strongly. This is about inclusivity, not exclusivity. And it's, it's regardless um, of, of what anyone's station in life is. This is one of the reasons why I have such a hard time with people selling, you know, a, a seminar or something, you know, because they have this information that should be freely given to all, okay? Uh, like trying to... Uh, $400, you can have a seat and show you how to deal your foreclosure. It says, well, if you have that information, why are you keeping man in slavery by not sharing it freely with all? Mm -hmm. And that's the intention I'm speaking of. This, this, and, and I know a lot of people out there that are doing this shit. They're selling the truth through commerce and all the rest of this stuff. And quite frankly, um, I ain't buying because if you have to sell something, you're still stuck in the paradigm. So the bottom line here, guys... This is about flowing intent. If you can do something great, uh, and, and either through an energy form of, of cash or or, or or an effort, beautiful point, Johnny, about distribution, uh, promotional, marketing, emailing. There are so many things that people can do to be a part of the project, to be a part of the truth going out. And I tell you, it's a big difference when you actually have a piece of the creation. And that's really what you're taking on. You're taking on a piece of this beautiful creation that you get to manifest with the rest of us uh, to change this planet for uh, for the better. Unless you're really happy with how things are right now, but uh, I'm pretty. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put dimes to donuts that uh, everyone listening right now isn't completely satisfied with their life. Awesome, Kate. Can I can I jump in for a moment here? I, I love all this. You know, uh, this is Jeremiah, and uh, I've been listening since we ended the show, and and just this just. Uh, Beautiful documentary, just uh, illustrating these points perfectly through uh, Santos's, you know, uh, just a beautiful representation of of this beautiful truth of uh, of this holy science. And uh, I guess I'm here right now, just to offer my services. I'm a graphic artist, and I understand this holy science, and to a point. I mean, as much as I can, but uh, it it just really excites me. I get very passionate about it when I use these uh, like golden mean proportions and Fibonacci sequences and these beautiful numbers and just understanding how to utilize that left and right brain kind of mentality and find that unity concept where uh, it's just parts of a whole. And and I'm just here right now just offering my services as, as best that I can because being a part of this project is just extraordinarily just unbelievable and just it, it would be an incredible honor to be able to produce something, to be able to help the awakening of an entire you know, human race, you know, it's just be a part of that, and it's just, oh, you know, it, words cannot describe it, as well as I'm sure every single one of you just, you know, it's just, you're just part of it, you're just in it, and you just feel that passion. So I'm just offering my services right here, right now, and, uh, well, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Thanks, Jeremiah. Thank you. And and you know what? Uh, the excitement I can hear from your voice is probably what we're looking for to be generated. I hope all the listeners, even you know, the ones that can or can't, uh, I hope that the least they can do is just get excited about the prospect that we're going to make a DVD um, that will... You can you can make a copy of it and you can give it to the Jehovah's Witnesses when they knock on the, on your door. That'll wake them up. You can give it to yeah, man. This yeah, this is a tool for every purpose. There will be many evidences that will expose all the fictions and bring us back to real, real reality by hey, exposing. Sean, yeah. Sean, do I can hear it now. You know, you got the promo going out, and there's Jehovah Witness coming to the door, and it's like, yeah, feature <laughs> astro science. <laughs> Just hand them out DVDs. Talk about a perfect. This is uh, uh, revenge of the Santo. I love it. Hey, hey, imagine if imagine they take <laughs> they take the video home and discover that the name of Jehovah Yod He Vah is in the four fixed signs of the zodiac you imagine all the jehovah's witnesses looking up and going oh jehovah there it is in the skies well isn't that interesting shiva you know what i mean they're going to wake up hindus millions of them to see that uh that's the sort of uh joy and excitement that i get to think that uh there will be a product that will stand up you know when the first time when you saw esoteric agenda or the first zeitgeist right. um yeah, those those movies. That's the sort of impact that I'm sort of looking at. That kind of impact. All that much truth. And Ben Stewart and his brother Dan, they put a lot of wisdom uh, about law in, in Esoteric Agenda too. You know, all that stuff about, um, you know, how to... The person and how they've turned us in, into a corporation via the personal name, etc., Man, that was an eye open. I stumbled across that six or seven years ago, and, and that was it. Right. That was it. Right. So Ben Stiller, Ben Stewart, can sit back and say, "Well, I must have saved uh, at least a handful of people. I can be proud of myself. I can be happy." And he has. If he hasn't saved thousands from their mundane, dreary, sleepy, unconscious world. I don't know, probably hundreds of thousands, just the one video, you know, Esoteric Agenda. Man, it, it, it imprinted truths on a generation. Um, and this is one step beyond that sort of stuff because this is getting into astrology, the true theology, philosophy, all the higher things. Uh, it's just exciting. Yeah. I'm you know, excited. You know, you, you know guys, yeah. is that, um, is that um, you know, the, the way I, 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 I always... Being a Virgo, you know, I'm always analyzing things, and um, and and uh, and, I, and I understand that each uh, one of us uh, does something better than the other. You know, we have a sort of a, some somewhat a specialty. You know, Santos, you uh, the master research guru. I, I I believe. You know, Kate is. You know, I look better in high boots. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> has, no, has, uh, <laughs> I, I was just going to say to Jeremiah before we, before we yeah. get past this. Uh, Jeremiah, um, yeah, we can we can certainly absolutely uh, use your help on the team. So uh, consider yourself part of the synchronicity team. Yeah. Oh, I am honored. Oh, that is unbelievable. Just being a part of this, you know, it's just it's amazing. I, this is just one of the the, uh, the strengths that I, that I understand that we're unlimited potential, and that we create with emotion and imagination. And if we can project that consciousness uh, towards something that we desire, that feeling, it's all about that emotion. So I, I've used that idea, just pushing the boundaries of physical limitation. I've been uh, working on uh, you know, my, my, uh, my voice, uh, self-expression, and I don't know if you're familiar with like harmonic overtones and tube and throat singing and all that sort of stuff, but I feel like I have something to contribute in that way as well. I don't know if this is going to help in, in this capacity, but... I, I always felt like I had some kind of, uh, you know, purpose just to give back to humanity some way or another to break this system because, uh, you know, it's corrupt and, and you know it right off the bat. It just does not feel good. And, and I just, I guess I just always had those eyes to see it and those ears to hear and, and that desire to follow that path. So whatever I can do to, to really just bring about this wonderful change, this conscious awakening of, of just who we really are and just, uh, 
people like realize that you know we're gods and, and we're limited we're to these confined you know proportions that uh, you know the system uh, you know wants of us to be able to fit in this you know the, the, to be the cogs in their wheel to keep it going and it's breaking down and I see it everywhere and just the people's trust that idea you know it's just I, I want to create like these little things these little business cards and you saw the work that I created and I'm just so inspired to be able to just get this out there however I can like leaving a business card like on the, the seat of a bus or in the bathroom or you know just with this incredible information of what everyone has been doing just to bring about this change that we inevitably do <laughs> you know you know what uh it's also interesting guys is that um um when when you speak truth right and you're honest and uh the information that you that you share you know it comes from the heart and you're you're giving it to people right and people appreciate it yesterday uh last night when we launched our 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 new season here at Quantum Leap Television, uh we did an interview in Spanish. Well actually I was being interviewed uh by um uh Melissa Massi and um I was giving information of what we're gonna uh, be doing in this coming year. And I was I mentioned that uh, we we're gonna donate um we're going to make this film with Santos and also this other documentary in Spanish and also another documentary about enigmas. Uh, some interesting stuff going on here in Ecuador as well. Um and um after the interview um I got a a, a, a call from one of our, our our friends in Facebook. Uh well he was he wrote to me and he says to me, Johnny how um how can I help you? And I says, um, oh, how, how are you doing? Dalton, his name is Dalton. Um, he says, um, how can I help you? Um, how much can I donate? I'm like, I'm like, where are you writing? Where are you where are you uh, writing me from? He said, oh, I'm I'm, uh, I'm in Ecuador. I'm in southern Ecuador. Um, and I'm like, how old are you? And he says, well, I'm 13. He says, I'm, I'm 13, and I listen to your shows, and I'm fantastic. And how can I help you? You know, how can, uh, how much can I donate? I'm like, you know, at that moment, I mean, I just didn't know what to say because, you know, a 13 year old saying this to you that is watching our program, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty satisfying. So I says to, to Dalton, I says, Dalton, you know, my friend, uh, first I want to congratulate you and thank you for, for being, you know, so awake at, at, at 13 years old. You know, most 13 years old want to, you know, be, be playing their PlayStation or whatever. Um, and he says, I said to my friend, you know, whatever you can, it'll be greatly appreciated. He goes, no, oh, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, whatever, uh, I'm going to go into your page and, 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 you know, and even if I have to, you know, sell lemonade or whatever for a couple of weeks, I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to donate because I want to help. <laughs> hey, Johnny, I, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the point that needs to be made here. Everyone yeah. listening? You just had the bar set for you by a 13-year-old named Dalton. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty mind-blowing. Like yeah. you, you just floored me with that. Yeah, yeah. And we have a lot of we have a, a, a quite a few young kids listening to our programs, which which is also satisfying. Um, you know, 16-year-old kids, 15-year-old kids, 17-year-old kids. Um, we have uh, a mom in. Um, she's from uh, Guatemala, and her mom uh, and her daughter listen to the program. You know, I had another another uh, case that, that they're fans of Santos, and I think I shared this story with Santos in one of the programs. But she's in Mexico, and she says that you know when when um, when your show comes on with Santos, he says we all get together, we sit in the living room, and uh, we connect the computer to our speakers. And we listen to the to the program very loud. She goes, and I'm like, but why do you connect it to the speakers? Why do you put it so loud? She's like, because everyone around our house, you know, they're all asleep. <laughs> she say they're they're just so mundane. And our whole family gets together and we watch your shows with Santos and we put the volume up very loud so everyone can hear, our neighbors can hear what you guys are saying. And I was like, oh, that's 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 uh, it's very interesting. And she was, you know. She was pretty serious about it, but the the point is that you know people are excited, and you know, and Santos has created a very, um, a very, uh, how would I say, uh, interest in um, in our Spanish 
uh, friends, you know, and I don't need to say anything about the English speaking uh, folks that follow Santos and you guys, Kate and Tony. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited uh, to, to get this rolling and I hope that uh, the folks can, can help us out in whichever way they can. Yeah, very encouraging, very encouraging, Johnny. Yeah, uh, it will be done. It's uh, it's it's out there now, and uh, it will take place. So it's great. We can just uh, point our thoughts uh, toward it, and uh, I'm sure, with at the very least, um, as you can tell by the excitement that we feel. <laughs> At the very least, if everybody can help with their excitement, that will add and encourage the ones that can contribute, I guess. I don't know how it works, but we all do what we can, right? And at least the least is to be excited about this. <laughs> uh, you know, be excited and uh, to think that we can have really, really good astrotheology. I mean, the only good stuff I've seen is that three minutes on Zeitgeist, really. Uh, <clears throat> I've seen a few other products there's three minutes here there's four minutes there this is going to be solid solid stars we're going to go for a walk from aries all the way to pisces and we're going to recount all the stories that have ever taken place on that wheel hmm. you know yeah we're going to show how biochemically you start in the head at aries and you end at the feet of the human being in pisces up above you start at the head in aries and you start with the creation let there be light of course. Where else does the light begin? It lights up in the head. Where do you put the, the lamp when you have a, an epiphany? Above the head. Because, <clears throat> because Aries, the high brain, is where the light is. That's where the sun exalts in astrology. I mean, all the sciences line up to tell you this, you know. You've just got to, you've just got to include all the sciences, put them in. You just put them in their place. You don't have to squeeze them in. They just fall into their place. I can, I can just... Go from Aries to Pisces, and I can have the the Quran in one hand, and I can show you all the stories in the Quran. They are all there. I can have the Book of the Dead, the Egyptian Book of the Dead, and it's all about astrology. It talks about nothing else. I can show you. I can do the Bible, the Jewish, Greek, Greek uh, version, and you can, and it just all drops in. You go around the calendar, 360 degrees around the zodiac, and you you see all the holy days. And you see all the important days of the year, and it all flows and makes sense. They correspond in um, when you do uh, uh, comparative religion, when you do comparative studies, it's all the same characters. How good is that going to be when humanity wakes up to that? Ding! And they realize that uh, they are. Hercules, Ulysses, Sabasius, Horus, Jesus, Krishna, Virakosha. We're, we're all participating in that one consciousness, and it's us, the hero, that's doing this. So that's okay. all we've got to wake up to, you know. Um, we know that. Other people gonna, just, yeah. I was going to say, uh, I, I almost feel sorry for Jerry Falwell leaving today. Uh, I kind of missed out on the real truth, you know. Oh, well, guess he gets to do it again. <laughs> but uh, oh, and just uh, just to let everyone know, um, we run this platform uh, seven days a week. We're going to do our best to keep it active every night. But I will say this right now, as uh, as of this Monday, um, critical mass uh, will be uh, won't be on the air because we'll be on, uh, Tony and I will be on the air with uh, QL Television uh, every Monday night from seven to eight thirty, I believe. Johnny, you said seven to eight. Yes, yes, yes. This, uh, that's. Um Something that I've uh, I've asked uh, Kate and Tony to join me uh, Monday nights, uh, 7 p.m. and that's uh, that will be Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. and in Canada, 7 o'clock down here in Ecuador. I believe it's 1 a.m. in in Europe, and for an hour of wisdom with uh, Kate and uh, and Tony, and Santos will be with uh, with me on Thursdays. Uh, to do our Spanish show. So the format that we're, we're running uh, in QL Television is Monday and Tuesdays we're doing in English, uh, the English format, uh, where we're going to have Kate and Tony uh, pretty much set every Monday, and then Tuesdays we'll have guests coming in, uh, and then Wednesdays uh, we'll have guests in Spanish, and Thursdays uh, Santos will be with us uh, starting next week uh, on a regular basis. And it will be video. So and it, Yes, yes it'll, yes. it'll be uh, video, uh, audio, 
Uh, and this is important as well because, um, you know, we can show uh, maybe some documents or some images that you guys may want to present that unfortunately on radio sometimes we can't, we can't see it. You know, we can only hear it. Um, one of the, you know, interesting uh, things when we talk about being in balance is that our visual, our, our audit, auditory uh, and our kinesthetics are, are in balance, right? That we we learn in those three ways. This is why this is so important when you 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 do a film that that you do it correctly, where you stimulate all those three senses, right? Where they where where you're able to to understand in, uh, visually, um, auditory, and kinesthetic, right? So um, it's it's that's it's, it's very important. So that will be a, that will be our programming uh, starting next week. I invite all you guys to to, to join us in uh, Mondays and Tuesdays for our English version. And if you have some folks that are uh, Spanish speaking, uh, then they can join us Wednesdays and Thursdays for our Spanish uh, shows. And, and 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 another thing, Santos. Before I forget that, I think it's important that our that your audience and our and Kate's audience uh, hears this is that because of 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 our interviews that we've done uh, in Spanish with Santos, it has raised so much interest in astrotheology and astrology, right? Uh, I would say that a lot of people know about astrology, but more or less they they saw it as a, a, a you know horoscope kind of nonsense thing. But once they they saw Santos visually with his board drawing, you know, and 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 and, and designing the, the the twelve houses and and showing how, you know, in in the, the equinoxes in this point and the solstices in this point, how everything is tied in together with the uh, the, the the zodiac in the body, you know, it, it raised so much awareness and so much interest that um, I mentioned him before, our friend uh, Miguel Salades from Spain in Barcelona. He's starting now uh, a Spanish channel. He's moving away from his, uh, doing his uh, um, his seminars and bringing people and, and so forth. He's going to start his own uh, television uh, uh, channel online because he saw how much of an impact this, this is. You know, so I'm 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 happy that 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 you know all this stuff that we're doing is uh, is uh, um, raising an interest in and influencing people to to also do their own uh, thing and, and and reach more people. You know, so um, there's another woman as well in Italy, and ironically enough, she works for the Vatican. <laughs> um, she's also starting a Spanish uh, channel where she's going to get different programs that are pretty popular and, and, and interesting and put that programming in her, uh, in her channel. And she's asked me to, to join that channel, uh, and mainly because of Santos. You know? So it's, um, it's, it's, it's spreading. It's spreading, and people are, are, are happy, are happy with the information that we've been uh, sharing. So you know, I thought I'd share that as well. Beautiful. Encouraging. Yeah, very yeah. encouraging. Very encouraging. It's uh it's a it's a new renaissance really, the awakening. Uh new, it's it's way beyond that. It's much, much beyond that. We've got uh much more uh knowledge than ever before. It's the knowledge age. We've got uh the sign above Aquarius, which is the I know, rather than the Pisces we left, which is hmm. I believe, uh, I doubt, mm, that's it, one fish doubts, one fish believes. That's what we've doubted, we, uh, what, that's what we've left, we've left that separation behind. <laughs> there's no more doubt and there's no more believing, you know, now we know. And uh, it's far superior than the Renaissance that happened in the middle of the Piscean Age, you know, 500 years ago. We've got it. We've got the goods, and we've got, uh, we're watching history unfold. We're watching the apotheosis of the, uh, a portion of the human race. The human race is experiencing the apotheosis, the metamorphosis, right before our eyes. This is it. There's, yes, there's pain, there's birthing pains, and, um, you know, we just need to hope that the potential of pure love to exist on this planet through knowing that we are one. 
um, can come to all of us. Why should there be more death? Why should there be more? Unless um, some people just... And, and it's beautiful to see nature, how nature uh, forces certain um, evolving creatures to continue to have to reincarnate so that they can uh, advance in the cycle of necessity. You see, this is this is all in the Bible. That they hide this, but it's to, it's in there. It's intrinsic to this message. Uh, but but see, and it's beautiful. There's no problem with uh, having an, a relationship with matter because that's what we're doing. That's all it is. It's just a dance of matter. But eventually, you've got to return. You know, you can play a song for twenty minutes, uh, but eventually, there's going to be silence. You know, you get tired. Uh, Kate, what's the longest song you've ever played on a guitar? Oh, let me see. Um, probably uh, some of our live productions um, sit around seven, eight, nine minutes, depending on the production we wanted to do. Yep. Remember the days Led Zeppelin used to do a 15-minute song and uh, everybody pretty much just loved it and, uh, and you know, they'd be sweating after that. It's it. The song has to go back to the stillness. The point I'm making is, uh, sure, it's it's been great, to uh, go around in this cycle of necessity, but I think each and every one of us has suffered enough. We've seen enough of the fiction. We've seen how they screw you. We've seen how the system is rigged. <laughs> We've seen the death and the inquisitions and the pedophilia and what the Jesuits are doing and uh, all the big oil companies, how they're trashing the planet. Um, we need to hope that all of these ills uh, are going to be fixed by consciousness. Uh, you know, okay, I did. I've, I've been ranting. You know, <laughs> but it's true, isn't it? It's true, isn't it? True, what I've just said. I mean, or am I the only one seeing this? Of course, we see it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. No, it's time to do something about it rather than just sit there watching it. Yeah, let's. It's about it's about lifting the consciousness, like you said before, Tony. Right. We, it's a, this is about lifting the Earth's consciousness. That's what it is about. We're not doing this. There's no other motive. There is no other motive. And that's superfluous to say. Because otherwise, you know, I'd be out there playing my guitar. I can make $1,000 a day when I go to the Burke Street Mall. Just start a strumming. A couple of hours, got a grand, go home and rest. And if I want to take a late... That's how I've lived for the last 12 years. Out of the system. Out of the system. Um, so, you know, I can just, if I wanted to, I could, uh, you know, we've pulled, uh, my little band in the mall, we've pulled a big, big six figures in that mall, let me tell you. <laughs> I could be doing that right now, getting a career, you know, and uh, and making money and buying houses, everybody else is. Mm. Um, you know, we all could, couldn't we? But we know how the system is and we don't want to, we don't want that system. We've grown, we've grown up out of it, you know. It's, uh, it's unfortunate that a lot of people believe in it. I can't believe there are still people, you know, um, dabbling on the stock market. <laughs> My God, they're stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. <clears throat> well, I had a uh, quick comment. Oh, sorry about that. I, I had a quick comment uh, question. Uh, I have a friend who is um, in the police academy right now, and um, he's always like been pretty straight shooter, you know, pretty much involved in the system and anything outside of it is conflicting with his beliefs, so it's very difficult for him to move from that. And uh, he's, he's a good, very best friend of mine. And um, he doesn't understand the path that I've gone, and he just he, he kind of makes, you know, he just doesn't understand it. So basically what, what I'm asking is, is that how do I approach this subject? I mentioned to him today uh, the people's trust. Because I figure that's a good foundation, you know, that, that's an official, you know, declaration that's been done. And um, if you could just touch base on that a little bit, that'd be wonderful. Because I think that the police officers, they're the ones who are going to be, you know, um, standing up for these, uh, you know, the, <laughs> this disservice. You know, they're going to be the ones fighting for this law, fighting for this system without really knowing it. Uh, how do we penetrate that, you know, first kind of layer? Beautiful. Yeah. Good thought, Jeremiah. That's it. Because they're, they're the ones that are still operating as, um, well, they should be, um, you know, servants of, of us, really, shouldn't be. That's it. 
shouldn't they? That's in their job description. You, we know they're heavily corporatized, but they still come to the rescue. You know, if someone's you know beating you up and stuff like that. So it'd be handy to get to them first because they will be in. They're already studied up on you know fictional law, and they're interested in law. Supposedly, <laughs> they should be. But um, yeah, how do we get to them? Yeah. Absolutely. I, I believe um, the, um, the understanding of words, like what Kate has uh, introduced, like what, what constitution really is. I mean, that, that catch twenty two right there. I mean, it states like that, just you know, kind of fraud and that's against the people. Like these words that are used against us that we, you know, uh, we 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 comply with. I mean, uh, if they understand that these words that they're following are really just like spells, as you guys say, um, then uh, it's just maybe it might open them up their eyes because I feel like that that's a pretty close, intimate relationship, you know, with something that they're following is this common law. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Black's Law Dictionary, is that where common law is really like deciphered? Like you need to, in order to uh, understand it? Okay, I was going to say, I was going to say Black's Law is an entirely different book uh, than most people. It, it for me, is the Supreme Bible. Now, um, <laughs> I've done a number of shows on this. There is a specific use for the Black's Law magic book, and uh, I've been using it to fairly good effect. I'm still uh, working my way through a lot of things, but it never lets me down. Uh, when I have a syncretic moment, which is every moment of the day, if you're paying attention, um, I'll go look something up, and it, it gives me... Um, something to think about and it gives me a direction uh, to keep on my own trail here. Um, yeah, I was kind of curious. There was a bit of background noise there and I wasn't sure what was going on there, but I think we're okay now. It was almost like a, um, like another radio station or something trying to cut in on us on internet. Yeah. Wow. Bizarre. But uh, as far as your, your buddy though, Jeremiah, what I would suggest that he do uh, is tune in on uh, Tuesday night because I've got Darlene um, who has I've been dealing with the system for the last six years with her and her daughter. Uh, um, you know, you know the routine. It's always the same. Um, but what we have on uh, as well is a, a, a representative from the group uh, Leap L E A P, which is ah law enforcement against prohibition. So if he wants to tune in and listen to some of his future own and what they're doing, uh, it would certainly be an eye-opening experience for him, and, and it will be a, a, a stateside perspective. That that is beautiful. Yeah, that that's a good perspective for him to be able to see exactly, so he could see people adapting to this kind of uh, idea uh, and and implementing it and and understanding it. Well, rather comprehending it. So that, that that's a wonderful source. I'll definitely turn him on to that. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no problem. Say, go ahead. I would, go ahead. I would say as well, you can download a copy of uh, Blueprints of Cosmic Consciousness because that will hit him right between the eyes with reality versus the fiction that we find, we find ourselves in. Um, that's available at awakeconsciousawareness.com. It's uh, only 250 pages per part, two parts. But um, he'll get it after that if he doesn't do something wrong. And that's true, and it's up to him really to, to you know go down that path because that's what we're all here to do, you know, follow our own path, and you can't force anyone on it, so... If he really wants to know, then he'll he'll follow that path. But he's been connecting with me on a regular basis, and he's curious about it. I don't really mention this uh, this aspect of my life because I understand that he he's not very, you know, uh, receptive to it. So I've been uh, just you know just kind of going about my day, keeping it away, but at the same time, you know, dropping little hints to show, you know, that I'm connected to something and that you need to understand that because what you're in, it's not working. So if he does have that, you know, vibrational you know, desire to, to, you know, to follow this path, and then what I have to offer will help him. And I, I what you guys have offered, I, I do appreciate it. Thank you. Our pleasure. That's what we do, you know. It's uh, every, every night we're out here quaffing on the air trying to, you know, wake up! You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know that's, that's uh, you know, kind of how it goes. So I'm actually in a chat with all, uh, the Italian contingent right now um, on, on Skype, so... Um, there, you, there you go. Talking of that, can we have a quick update, Santos, on what's been going on with Italy? Because I'm, I'm busting to know. I'm, I'm so excited about what you guys are doing over there. I just can't get enough. 
Uh, well, there's a couple of guys. There's Matteo and um, Alessandro, who uh, are now sovereigns, or you know, for want of a better word, uh, it, it's still look. Sovereign still has has its pure English rendering. Okay, so we can use it. Okay, we know that it's got this other rendering where it enslaves you, but it still is probably one of the best words to describe. Um, uh, you know, I mean, Kate might argue that, but. It's still kicking around. Uh, anyway, they've they've declared it through getting out of their systems and returning their IDs and everything, and and they're basically just uh, notifying them of being alive and uh, not wanting any of their artifacts or articles or <laughs> anything. Well, that's one. That's uh, one of the. Re I was going to say that's one of the reasons why I'm directing them to uh, Tammy Pepperman's page, uh, because there are documents there that are very concise in that regard that they could translate and utilize. Because they've been asking me a lot of questions today. Um, uh, who was it? Because uh, I was in quite a chat. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Uh, so with with uh, Sandro. And also, um, yeah, it was, it was uh, Sandro, mostly. Anyway, uh, asking about certain things. And I mean, when people talk to me about sovereignty and what have you, um, a lot of the stuff they're they're like accepted for value, blah blah blah. I mean that's very old, very dangerous, um, all system trap stuff. And was asking about bank accounts and you know should they should he close it? And I said well, and he, when I did have one, I kept zero in it, just just you know kept everything out of it because at any given time, if they feel like it, they can pull their account because it is theirs, you know. But uh, oh, a little note here from Adam. Um, thank you. Doing a great job. Um, I will say that to all. He said to Kate, but I know it's all you guys. Uh, he mentioned my donation to QLTV coming tomorrow. Keep repeating this info to listeners and keep posting the numbers of donations over and over and over and over. Love. Right back at you, Adam. So uh, um, I got to tell you that that uh, that story of that thirteen-year-old uh, Johnny. Um, yeah. I got to talk. That that is that is setting the bar of bars. I mean, if a 13-year-old can can decide to go and uh, open up a lemonade stand because he sees the value of Santo's work, that's uh, that's really mud in the eye for <laughs> for the rest of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's where I think uh, um, a good part of this information should, or, or I don't know if we should be directing it directly at at, at the young folks, but. I mean, if we can wake up the young kids, man, I think we've we've done a hell of a job. <laughs> you know, if those kids can 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 shy away from uh, their Wii's and uh, and you know their MTV and all that garbage, then uh, and, and and see these videos or, or this information, I think that 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 we've um, we've uh, reached uh, a, a, we've reached a point that uh, that's extremely important in, in humankind. You know. So I, I think that 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 definitely is is Santos has raised a lot of awareness in mm -hmm. such a short time, and now he's doing it in the Spanish community now with the Italian community as well. You know, I just got a a, a, a mail from uh, James Thomas. I don't know if you guys are still in touch with him, but he says that his page is also available now in Spanish. Uh, yeah, not doing uh, much with Divine Province. Uh, as soon as I released that little document called The Invocation of the Cross, uh, we got word the next day, basically, that some of the, the Divine Province ID wasn't working. That's the magic of, of how this game works, guys. You don't have to physically do things. I keep telling people this. It's about changing the intent. Start boxing the signatures on the 20s and 10s and 5s and 1s, guys. Whether it does anything physical is irrelevant. What you have done is changed your thinking, saying no more of this bullshit. This is worthless, and you're just doing that as an action of your intent to know that it's worthless. Who cares? You're changing your mind. Guess what you're changing as well? You're changing your universe and mine. How about that? Isn't that awesome? Right, right. Beautiful. Yeah, better yet, uh, take one of those bills, box it, and send it to QL Television. Let's get the, let's get this production done with Santo. I mean, th this is not asking for donations to keep us alive, guys. This is asking for things to get Santo over to Ecuador so we can save a whole lot of others, keeping millions alive. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know? look, the, the yeah, look, you know, I mean, they pump a lot of money into their agenda. You know, they pump gazillions into it. Um, and we kind of we kind of don't, you know, we take things for granted. But 
but you know we we also come from uh, you know uh people that are not materialistic so <laughs> that indicates you know uh, a a lack of those bits of paper but anyway um and but they put a lot of money into uh, attacking us and making us look stupid and uh and naysaying us. I've got a, a lawyer in Italy, um, his name is uh, Franceschetti, and he's come out and attacked the sovereigns and me, um, saying that it's a bufala, uh, he, because he, he complained, he's been complaining that so many people are saying, have you seen Santos' stuff? It, it, um, it, you should link up with him, because he, he's actually a lawyer who's going around exposing the pedophilia in uh, the Vatican and Freemasonry and, uh, and all of these clubs, these boys' clubs getting around. So he's doing a good thing. He's, he's relatively conscious, but he thinks that uh, the concept of sovereignty uh, or being, um, you know, uh, nameless, because you're you're just the divine having experience with matter down here. He thinks it's a bufala. You know, it's a deep delusion and it's ridiculous. Uh, and this group in Italy is, you know, um, deluding themselves badly by you know, following this uh, idea. But he was responded to. He, he released an article about uh, ten days ago, but he was responded to by um, another Italian... Uh, called uh, Marco, I forget his surname, but I've known Marco for about a year and a half on Facebook. Very intelligent. Anyway, he uh, he replied with a beautiful, beautiful article, smashing this guy out of the waters. You know, he, he exposed that, you know, uh, even in Italy, um, the Vatican system all over the world is is actually it's it's actually running under the bar from England and the the English system because Italy in uh, 1933 and in 1913, in both instances that America um, uh, first of all um, in, enacted the um, the Fed, the Federal Reserve. That was also enacted in Italy, and in '33, when they took the gold standard off and made us slaves, unable to pay with real money, that also happened in Italy. And he proved by giving the numbers that Italy is the Republic of Italy is a corporation registered in guess where? Hmm. No cigar, no cigar, but guess where Italy is registered? Uh, Washington D.C. Close. New York. Oh, okay. Same, same, so, stuff. same stuff. Yeah, same yeah. stuff. It's re it'll be registered through the Securities Exchange, uh, Exchange Commission, Wall Street, through New York, which is centered and registered based out of uh, um, uh, Washington Direct Current. It's yeah, all about the so energy, guys. It's all about the energy. Exactly. So Marco just smashed Franceschetti just like that, and he exposed the whole fraud, how they've enslaved us, uh, made us... Coll um, a chattel, um, and how uh, everything, you, you, man, in, in, in a very short article, he absolutely answered, and a whole heap of others, Francesca came online, she put an article out, because they're attacking us, they're, uh, even, even so-called, like, Franceschetti is, is pretty good, you know, he's exposing the pedophilia, he's doing a good job, he doesn't get this, he just doesn't get it, so, um, it goes to show that we need to uh, back up our... We need to persevere and uh, also, um, you know, lift. We need to lift and, and keep, keep going. Keep chipping away. Lift in all areas. That's exactly it. It's, it's, not, it's not about, uh, you know, uh, everyone... You know, one individual has to take it all down. No, this is about chipping away at the cornerstone. Uh, that these that these guys um, have built all their lives upon, and, and again, this is the thing that I'm seeing. It's what we're doing. Uh, you know, you, Johnny, Sasa, uh, Tony, uh, uh, Dean, uh, Dean just tagged me as well. So, uh, you know, uh, Tammy, Winston, Jordan, everybody. When you, uh, Franco Collins, <laughs> Winston Shroud, doesn't matter if I agree with what that. You know, they're all. I mean, I agree with a lot of stuff everyone's doing. You know, I, there's things in everything that resonates with me. The important thing for me, though, is, is it doesn't matter how we get to Rome. We talked about this last night, Santo. 
it doesn't matter how we get the Rome to take that cornerstone out. Let's just take the damn thing out, and, and we're all going to cheer each other all along the way because, oh, look at what you're doing to confuse them there. These are all skirmishes on different fronts that the system cannot handle, and it is crumbling. That's right. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it has to. That's that's bla that's the darkness. The darkness is dissipating. It has to. Light, light when it shines dissipates the darkness. Darkness when it's there cannot hinder the light. <laughs> yeah. And it's important that you know we 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 share information and we uh, we come together. You know, like as we're doing now. Um, and, and this is going on now with with many groups that I'm um, getting involved with, because it's just uh, it's just going to get stronger. You know, I mean, enough already with the separation and the conflicts, and you know, I, my my program is better than yours, and you know, I got more information than you, and and, and that whole nonsense that, you know, essentially there is also conflicts within our community. Let's say, you know, and I think that that now. Uh, people are understanding that a little bit more and are saying, you know, how we can join forces to, to get the word out, you know. Uh, mm. Ironically enough, in the, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the, 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 the statistics and uh, analytics of, of our ratings. Um, we, since the beginning, Spain was number one in, in our ratings. And the U.S. was somewhat like fifth or sixth uh, and I just just decided to look at it right now, and and the U.S. is number one uh, in viewership in watching our program. You know, so that's good news. <laughs> I think it's good news because you know there's a lot of sleepy folks out there in the United States, and and uh, and they're starting now to to understand this and and, and raising uh, questions about you know their lives. You know, mm -hmm. comes to a point where you say, "Well, okay, I have all the toys, I have, you know, all the, you know, Gucci watches and the, the nice cars and the mansion, but I'm still unhappy." So, so mm -hmm. why is this going on? So, I have everything that money can buy, but yet I'm unhappy. I just went through a divorce. My family hates me. You know, I'm I'm alone. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, I think that that. This information, it's very valuable because now you begin to understand that, you know, the, we need, we need you know, a place to live. I'm not saying that. And we need to eat and we need to do a, you know, a couple of, we need to do, you know, get from here to there, you know, so you might need a car. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, what good is it to have all those toys if you're unhappy? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it it's even more than that, though, isn't it? You've got to think out for your own children and your grandchildren and your future. You know, I mean, we, we like you say, I'm, I, I'm resonating with everything you're saying. You're absolutely uh, right, Johnny. But, you know, there comes a time when even if you've got all the Gucci watches and all the cars and all that, all that stuff, uh, putting it politely, the point is you've still got to look out for your own kids. You don't want to jack them full of vaccines and feed them pharmaceuticals and... You know, I've been brainwashed from children to go and join an army and kill people for a living. You know, so there's more to it than just having a watch in a car. That's you know? right. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, you know. Uh, and uh, I know we've got some of the Italian group listening in right now. They're talking about uh, uh, actually referencing that lawyer. I think this, I'm trying to, maybe this, you might be able to help me here, Santo, the guy's name. Uh, Fran... uh, Paolo Franceschetti. Francesca, oh. yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, he doesn't even he doesn't even know where uh, the birth registry happens and all the rest of the crap. See, this is the thing, and I, and I really want to get this across to people, especially if there's any lawyers listening. You know, you need to wake up, guys. I'm I'm telling you. See see how I'm censoring myself now. Anyway, if there are any lawyers listening out there right now, what you need to understand is you've been duped more than we have. We actually understand your legal system better than you do. It's criminal, and what you're doing is promoting criminal activity in ignorance. Sorry, but I guess I just told you, so you can't claim ignorance anymore. Now it's willful. And as a willful act, you're committing fraud. End of story. You're aiding and abetting people into a, a, a slave uh, uh, mentality, slave system. Um, I don't know about you, but if you look up uh, United States Code Section 18, uh, that slavery thing has a little bit of a time tag to it. You know, um, you, you, and a fairly hefty fine, not that money matters. But the bottom line is this. 
uh, the sooner we can get these lawyers and, and, and the, ones, the ones that are actually you know, decent people that think they're doing something right, it's, it's getting them to awaken from within, and it's starting to happen. I mean, you're going to get people turning around and, you know, like look at Heather Jafar, for example, with that uh, public trust. Um, you know, again, as soon as I hear lawyer, my, all my defenses go up, but I get it. It's all good that we have to have people inside turning things around. You know, there, there are too many facts that we have gathered uh, and the whole system. It, listen, the only fact I needed was to say I'm going to be truthful, peaceful, honorable, to the, and lawful to the extent I've never been in my life, and I'm going to really work hard. And, and and as soon as I say that, I get attacked by the very people that are supposed to be that. What is that all about? Something wrong with that picture, Dorothy? Kansas disappeared. We're in Oz now, and it's about time we wake these people up, walk them down their own yellow brick road. And here's the thing: uh, once you understand the truth, here here's the problem with truth. You can't unlearn it. Yep. Now you have a choice, and that's why I stood the way I did, because I knew as soon as I came across the truth, I'd have to stand, regardless of it. And I'll tell you right now, that truth scared the living shit out of me most times, and it cost me my family, my house, everything I ever thought I, I, that mattered in my life. Yep. Okay? And thought was the key, everything you thought ever mattered. That was exactly. The well, you know, Sue and my girls, they matter greatly to me. Not a day, mm -hmm. not a minute goes by that they're not in my thoughts. Yeah. No, I'm not knocking that. But what I mean, one of the things that was occurring to me was this guy has just joined the police forces. Yeah, um, if he knew what he was going to be required of him in the future in order to enforce that system upon his own children, his children's children, then you know that's the point. If if they knew what was coming, if they knew what was going to be involved, they wouldn't do it. So the very first thing is education, and this is what's going to this is what the system is, this is what it does, this is how it does it, and when you understand that, you'll think twice about actually shooting your kids full of mercury, thimerosal, and squavine for a start, under vaccines. And that's the point, it starts with education. So, you know, just building on what's been said, that's all. Exactly, and I, I, I want to do a little shout-out to Adam again here, uh, just to let you know. Um, and a good point, too, by the way, about Bill Gates. Uh, he did battle in the courts against an army of lawyers and actors and uh, released the Internet to the world. Now, uh, that is our mightiest source of uh, truth. As And the reason why it will stand is because that is the system, one of the system's biggest sources of revenue, and they cannot handle their own greed, so they're they're trapped. Uh, he mentioned here, this is the more important thing, uh, it's, it's minus 15 Celsius. I'll tell you right now, it's probably closer to minus 21 with a chill factor uh, Celsius here uh, where I am. Uh, he's in Toronto. And he's going out tonight to hand out warm clothes and possibly food to brothers and sisters on the street. And, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I was thinking about that. It's funny. I was thinking about that tonight. I had uh, three sleeping bags that uh, I have a comforter or whatever, but I had three sleeping bags. And I, I gave them to Terry and Pat to uh, hand out to people out in the streets as well. So it doesn't matter how much you think you have or how much you think you don't have. You'll always have something. So uh, the game here is to share. So thank you, Adam, for doing that. There will be a lot of warm people. Thank you. Good stuff, Al. Yeah, that that sort of that sort of uh, situation is engine, um, socially engineered. Uh, it comes from the debt system that we're under, or we were under, that we've been freed from. <laughs> but um, it's this is the you know the residual of that suffering and. Um, and it's very, very unfortunate, but its its day is over. It does not look good anymore. It does not feel good anymore. It doesn't feel good to be on the same planet where kids are starving to death and, and they're, they're drinking, you know, animals' urine to survive. That's all they got. It's all they got. They, they just follow the animals, you know. <laughs> and... Um, and uh, that's, it's not nice, you know. You can't just sort of go to your gold tap and turn it, your, your gold faucet and turn it to get some glass, some water and uh, and not be affected by it. Even if you take it out of your mind, you know, deliberately because you're nice and comfortable. I don't have to think about starving children. You know, most people have this uh, going on. Um, but you can't, you can't escape it. <laughs> It's on the same planet. It's the same organism. And so 
we better get this sorted out. Yeah. We need to be responsible in every way, each and every one of us, and uh, say no and say yes. You know, learn how to say no uh, when you don't want certain offers and contracts that they're offering, and to say yes always to freedom. That's right. Absolutely. And build these networks. These are networks that we're building here. I mean, we 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 need to interconnect. You know, like these radio stations that are working need to be working against uh, toward each other instead of against each other, as as sometimes is happening. You know, and that's that's sad. We're only just exposing the truth on different levels. That's all. That's all. We're it is. Re- yeah, we're 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 rewiring. The, the neurons of Gaia with what we're doing right now. That's what the web is all about. This is connecting, and you're absolutely right, Santo. Um, there is no competition anymore. This is all about unity. This is all about synchronicity, getting everyone together in a power platform where everyone is united and independent. You see, because one of the things the system likes to do is find the leaders and pick them off. Well, sorry, guys. you got We're, we're working on, on making 7 billion of them. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yep. Well, well said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All leaders. Carry on. And not followers. Yeah. Well, they've done it. They've turned it around on us and made followers. There are followers in churches blindly. There are followers. Did you see the uh, inauguration a couple of days ago, man? Did you see the people, the heads on the people around Barack Obama? Did you see how many materialistic? Gla- looks of, of yuppies and power and uh, power hungry people. I'm not talking everyone. There were some beautiful people. Yes, nice, smiley people who still believe that Barack Obama is actually a president of the republic. They don't realise that he's just a um, you know corporate figurehead, a CEO of the United States Corporation. But they're nice people. But mostly, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You saw the heads. You saw all those people, those arm, uh, you know, uh, chiefs of big, important men. Man, these men have got so much money, and they're all surrounding Barack Obama because this is the Rothschilds' little club here, you know, in the states, and and the Rockefellers, and they they're keeping tight onto the, you know, onto the del- illusion of democracy and. You know, all that shit that they do. But you can see on their unconscious heads how many unconscious human beings, or mm, human, I don't want to say it, but how many unconscious types did you see there, man? Did you see, you know, that that type when you when you look at people like George Bush's head, you know, or, um, and these are our brothers, we love them, but they're just loving the gravy train right now and they need to stop it. Because they're hurting yeah. everybody else, but yeah. you can see the un- unconsciousness written all over their faces. You can see it: pure materialism, pure power, greed, and it's, and it's sad. Uh, we got uh, we got just over four minutes left here, guys. I do want to do a quick announcement. Uh, a couple actually. Um, we'll be talking about this every night until mo- uh, until Monday, so people know that we'll be on QL Television with you, Johnny. Uh, tomorrow yes. night uh, uh, we have uh, Santa joining us again uh, with Jordan Maxwell. So um, we got some beautiful news for, uh, 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 I guess, with Jordan. He's got something new set up so that uh, people can now direct things at him as well. Uh, Santo? Yeah, well, um, as you know, um, someone has uh, conveniently uh, taken propriety of uh, Jordan Maxwell's intellectual property, pretty much like J.P. Morgan did to Tesla, you know and then went and poisoned him. Um, But uh, this type is getting around selling Jordan Maxwell products left, right and centre, enriching himself, and um, Jordan is urging people, saying, please don't support him, (laughs) you're not supporting me. But finally, uh, someone helped Jordan to get a PayPal contribution button or something. Um, I posted that yesterday on Facebook. Facebook and I don't know, but he's gonna. He enjoyed the panel that we had on American Freedom Radio and um, loved it. So I offered offered it to him again, and um, uh, he's he's on. He's in. He loved it. Okay, well that's what we're doing tomorrow night. So we're gonna give him the floor again, and yourself, of course. Uh, and of course, we have listeners that want to call in and uh, 
I think right now, more than anything else, uh, Jordan uh, could definitely use some beautiful love. Uh, so feel free to call in with your comments and uh, well wishes for a guy that uh, has been walking this game for 50 years um, and has been through thick and thin. He's been wiped out as well like the rest of us. So, uh, you know, by all means, just uh, a lot of days, Santo and Tony and, and Johnny and the rest of us, um, all we need is a, is a word that says, you know, we're, we're making a difference. Uh, regardless of anything else, that's sometimes all we need to hear, you know, to make sure that are we doing this in vain? Are we doing this for nothing? Are we doing the right thing? I mean, these are questions I ask myself every day. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys do as well, you know. And, and that that is the, the inherent search for truth. So, so by all means, definitely stop by tomorrow night. And I know Jordan will end up being a regular if I have anything to do with it because he needs to be out there. And anything we can do to support him because of the shoulders he's given us to stand on um, gave us a very, very good uh, viewpoint from very tall shoulders. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if uh, I mean, I, I, for one, woke up to a lot of, um, you know, Jordan stuff. It was like, holy cow, what's going on here in my first uh, awakening hours? But, yeah, fantastic bloke, some excellent information. Um, couldn't recommend him enough. So exactly. Same as many. My brother. Hey. We got a minute. We got a minute. We got a minute and a half, guys. So I'm just going to do a quick wrap up. Thank you, Paul Critical Mass Radio, for giving us this platform on Blog Talk, uh, where we can get the word out to everyone. Uh, so finish off, guys. Close her out. Uh, don't forget synchronicity.com. Um, come on over and uh, see the world. <clears throat> got a minute. Yeah, and, and, and also to uh, go into our uh, our website, uh, qltelevision.com. There you can see the the stuff that we're doing. Uh, check out the the videos, and if you want to make a donation for this project with Santos, uh, we'll appreciate everything that you can do for us. Excellent. Yep. Yeah, and really, uh, it's time to change another, you know, three four hundred million people on the planet. You know, give them the the opportunity that we've had listening to Santo. Um, and there will be no one uh, of a sane mind that can argue that Santo hasn't changed the world in a, in a vast way uh, doing what he's done. So thank you so much, Santo. And uh, Johnny, Santo, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Uh, the way things worked out, it worked out perfectly as always. And Tony, uh, always a pleasure to have you uh, on board as well. So Indeed. a great big thank you to all the listeners. Uh, much love to everyone. So say your good nights. We're up. Good night, guys. Okay, good, good night. night. Ciao. All right. Much love to all, and we'll catch you tomorrow night with Santa Bonacci and Jordan Maxwell, me and Tony at the helm. Love you all. Be good or, hey, be good at it.